Close your eyes. Watch your breath. Watch the breath as it comes in. Watch it as it goes out, all the way in, all the way out. Try to be consistent as you watch it here. If your thoughts wander off, you don't have to wander off after them. You can stay right here with the breath. You're trying to develop some good qualities in the mind. Mindfulness, the ability to keep something in mind. Sampajanya, alertness, the ability to stay focused on what you're doing, know what you're doing, know the results of what you're doing. And atapa, ardency, when you try to do it well. Where are you going to get these qualities? Well, you get them by practicing them. We all have them to some extent already. It's simply a matter of exercising them, making them strong. We take refuge in the Buddha and the Dhamma and the Sangha, but the Buddha also says, Atta no nato. The self is its own mainstay. What that means is you have to take the qualities of the Buddha and the Dhamma and the Sangha and you have to develop them inside your own mind. That way you'll have a real refuge. If your refuge is outside and you get far away from your refuge, then it's hard to feel safe at all. You're like the rabbits whose hole in the ground is on one side of the road, but they're on the other side of the road. A car comes, and they go running across the road to get to their hole, and sometimes get run over. And why is that? Because their refuge is far away. But if your refuge is up close, in other words, if they're right near their holes, there's no danger. So your refuge here are the qualities that you build in the mind, the qualities of the Buddha, which, which are mindfulness, alertness, and ardency. This is how he gained awakening, by developing these qualities. So you strengthen them here as you meditate. Each time the mind wanders off, as soon as you recognize that it's wandered off, okay, you come back. Because you remember where you're supposed to be. You're supposed to be here with the breath. And try to make the breath comfortable. If the breath is uncomfortable, the mind wouldn't want to stay. So see what kind of breathing feels good right now. Does long breathing feel good or short breathing? After all, nobody's forcing you to breathe in any particular way. So why let yourself breathe in a way that adds to the irritation in the body? Try to breathe in a way that feels nourishing, that feels good inside. That way you're more likely to want to stay here, and it gets easier to be mindful and easier to be alert. And your ardency really gets more and more developed. So that you do have these qualities so you can depend on, because anything you do in life is going to depend on these three qualities. You have to keep in mind what your task is, and you have to be alert to watch what you're actually doing to make sure it's in line with what your task demands. And then you're trying to do it as best as you can. That last quality, doing it as best as you can, that's where the real wisdom is. Because if we go through life just getting by, we don't really develop anything good inside. If we don't have good qualities developed inside, then we don't really have a refuge. And if we can't be our own refuge, we go running after the Buddha and the Dhamma and the Sangha. They'd be happy to help, but the Buddha, Buddha himself died a long time ago. The Dhamma is in the books, the Sangha is monks here at the monastery. You wouldn't have a refuge that's a lot closer than that. So develop these qualities inside yourself, and then you have something you really can depend on. After all, if you can't depend on yourself, who can you depend on? So you've got to learn how to make yourself dependable if you want to find a secure happiness in life.